Okay, just left the south side of Bethlehem. <laughs> we should get a shot very shortly, I think. But so there's lights in the distance pretty much south side of Bethlehem. And thanks to going down to Philadelphia in May, I actually have something to compare First Friday here in the south side to in another area. Granted, Philadelphia, Bethlehem, you know, size of two cities, etc. <coughs> but I had an event to cover, I had an event to cover before this, so I think over, over to the south side, it's roughly about 8, 4, uh, 745. And I've, the first three or four years I've done this, I used to always hit, hit first Friday. And I'll tell you what, I get off that bus, I hit, I get on the third street, I'm like, where is everyone? It's a beautiful, granite humid, it feels like a midsummer night out here. Drop dead gorgeous for me. But as I was walking down 3rd Street, I'm like, okay. It was almost like it was with the foot, with the people walking, it was almost a ghost town. Um, which for, 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 you know, for June, the first one, uh, for the one in June, there should have been a lot of people out. Now, I don't like to bring up the past, all right? But this is from experience. A few years ago, first Friday used to be jammed with people. No matter what, you know, with one, one or two exceptions, no matter what time of year it was, no matter what the weather was, Third Street would, would have decent foot, foot traffic and people walking around. So, you know, it actually, first Friday completely died off for a while. Uh, not died off, but they were still doing it. But a couple of the main uh, anchor and core businesses left, etc., and went through a transition phase, better word. And now they are trying to, they have been trying to revive it. I think this is the first official one again. They have been trying to revive it through, vari through various ideas. But these ideas, and yet it's kind of like I'm sure this is where, you know, no matter where you live, have been, you usually have alley ideas. All right. Let's, uh, let's have more, you know, let's, the bands, the, uh, you know, oh wow, I didn't have a chance to walk, time to walk all the way down, but on the Greenway, there's actually, I guess, a beer garden, which somebody told me is more like a beer tent, all right? So it's typically, you know, it's your standard typically have alley ideas that are becoming less and less effective now. Honestly, they are. So from being down in Philadelphia, went, um, over at the Machi, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. There's somebody there apparently from the organization that, you know, that does First Friday. And I told her, I said, yeah, I went down to Philadelphia and said, please don't take this as, you know, or, you know anything negative. I said, but one of the things I loved about down in Philadelphia on 2nd second, on second Street was they had street vendors there. And she's like, really? And I said, yeah. you know, I told her, I said, and that provided for myself a more welcoming, open, um, you belong here and we want you here feeling versus bouncing from one shop to another, you know, or one, you know, one gallery, whatever, to one building to another. You actually felt like walking the streets to, you know, walking the street to check out the vent, you know, different vendors, talk to people, etc. It had a true more community feel to it than First Friday up here. You know, First Friday, it's really cool, especially when it's hot outside, hot and humid like it is now. You go from one building to the next, you go out in the heat, you cool down, you go out in the heat, you cool down. That's great. But for the true community feel for it, it's not there. And I'm sorry, but one of the worst ideas and concepts that they could have for an event like this is to have a beer tent, especially in the Greenway, which is between 3rd and 4th Street. Very bad idea, very bad concept, because not only, not only does it pull people off of 3rd third, third Street and away from 4th Street, but you just created more competition for the various bars and restaurants and places to eat on those two streets. You just increase the competition, which is never, which to a point works, but for, for First Friday is a very bad idea. You know?
apologies for the pause, just taking everything in. Um, you know, so for first finding Bethlehem, I really can't recommend it to you. And I hate to do that, but it's mainly the banana factory and jumping from one, you know, one business to another. Now, you know, like I said, I really don't like doing that, but you expect me to be completely honest with you. And that's where I try, that's where I try to be. So, they are in the process of trying to rebuild it. They have the south side as the arts district. They are trying to rebuild the south side and completely, completely reinvent it and build on what, what was already there. Keep an eye on it. See what happens. If they find out if they are receptive and responsive to new ideas, if they want to try new things. If they are, take your family down take your family down to it. If not, and it kind of like just stagnates, continues to be stagnant, honestly, I'd avoid it. You know, and I really hate to say that. But, you know, it's just, keep an eye on it, go down, check it out once or twice, and see what you think. That's the best suggestion I can give to you. These are my, you know, this is based on my experience and opinions. Um, you know, it's just, they need something new, they need something exciting, they need something different for it. Period. So, hopefully they will continue to listen to people, hopefully they will continue to, they will start looking at outside of the Lehigh Valley to see what, what other areas are doing, and adopt those ideas to the Lehigh Valley. But, kind of, we'll see, take, like I said, just take a wait and see attitude. Um, wait and see approach to it. To all the to all the sponsors of the magazine out there, thank you so much. To, please go thanks to the sponsors page because without them, none of this could have happened for over the past five years now. Um, to everybody out there, thank you so much for the page views and all the support. Without you, I wouldn't be doing it anymore either because being a point to it. Summer's here, it feels like it. Get out there, take some time out with your friends, family, and so take some time from yourself to come from our busy, hectic life and enjoy it. I'm starting to on occasion. Michael Phoenix, founder and staff of the magazine from West Broadway Main Street here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Thank you.